Y'all listen. It's not gonna be no work today I'm not sure who thought this is a hill a long very long hill it comes down this is the first shelf on it right here it kind of flattens out and then it goes on down you can see how high those trees are over there on that ridge I'm not sure when they built this road years ago why in the world they thought this was a good idea right here because you go down this hill this is going in so you got to come back out load it you got to make this curve right here and pull this hill that I just come down. And this right here is a tough, tough, tough spot. So you hit this, this little dip, and then you go straight up right here. I know the camera don't, not really giving you a good idea of what this is right here. There's Kevin right there on the dozer, but we had a, uh, quite a good bit of rain there yesterday afternoon we got everything moved over here yesterday and then we left well we couldn't get a truck out of here yesterday it's too wet yesterday we're, we're in that pattern now where we're basically getting a thunderstorm every afternoon and boy yesterday evening we flat got one so kevin's getting a dozer on in and then i'm gonna bring him back out and then we're going to head on, head on in. It's just a little after seven right now. And getting this, going ahead and getting this. I've already done been in here and back out one time already this morning. So this, this is the next day after that rain. And the next morning, actually. It don't take it long to dry. We started off this morning, had to pull trucks to get them out. And that's in pretty good shape, Dad's been on the motor grader. This is why I don't like, and you have to watch for snakes, man, what you talking about? And they'll be laying in this stuff. See Derek right there. I want y'all that are new to the channel, to hear this 635 right here when he gets on it to come up this hill to Kevin up there. <laughs> He's laying there asleep. just woke up. Get number four. There you go. Ground 
still it's still gonna be wet out here in the woods we're gonna cut all this hardwood down here too big big hardwood real big hardwood y'all will see some videos of that y'all listen sticker pegging out stuff right there <laughs> that thing's so cool to listen to run and watch it run too I mean all this stuff that we got it's cool to cool to watch you see Kevin at that big old oak right there that butt must be bad must have been bad on that one Chad's attention. I'm gonna cut across over here. And he's pulling it uphill. That's a heck of a log right there, buddy. It cuts quick. showed it you can run that machine forward or backwards it doesn't matter and when you flip it the controls swap on you too so your left so your left and right stays left and right I'll let I'll stay right here and where you watch it watch out y'all can watch him run that hardwood It's got over 18,000 hours on it now. This one right here. 
right here should be a log that's on my side. That's gonna be pulled wood. open up to 30 34.9 inches is what the drive wheels open up on it too a couple of different ways too you can run it where it's kind of like a limited slip kind of deal where it's not locked in it just pulls or you can you can lock just the back four tires where they're positive and the front is not or you can lock it to where it's positive all the way all six are locked on it at the same time and that was a problem that we were having with it was the machine's got right at 10,000 hours on it now with the uh it wouldn't lock in the back end no more so jay tore it all apart and redone it on the back end and so it's all it's all locking now he did it while we were while we were off on vacation and so that's the reason why you didn't get no video of it. of course he did it in their shop too because that's not a job that you would want to do out here in the uh out here in the field because each side of that bogey holds i think it's 55 gallons of oil or something like that 90 weight gear oil that's a lot of gear oil to deal with man you don't want to deal with that out here and don't ask me what it costs because i have no idea we've done a bunch of stuff to the machine while we had it while it was in there being worked on i mean y'all run a log So I don't know what it cost. 